hello everyone today we are going to prove that uh, if graph g is connected on uh, with n vertices then rank of q of g q of g means incidence matrix okay so rank of q of g is n minus 1 first of all uh, let us see that what is a q of g right yeah so if we if we have a, a directed or undirected graph we can uh, we can uh, we can generate a q of g means incidence matrix so if our graph is something like that like it is a directed graph and if our graph is something like that so it is undirected graph right let label let me label it x y and z okay so if it is a directed graph then it is totally fine if it is not directed graph then we assign the uh, uh, any arbitrary direction to that but it is always fixed it's like something like that we can assign any direction okay and now our both graph are di directed now we can uh, we can find uh, incidence matrix of that so for incidence matrix uh, we uh, take uh, like uh, row we consider row as a x y z corresponding to every uh, vertices and our edges uh, column of our incidence matrix is uh, come from the edges like e1 e2 e3 so it is something like e1 e2 and e3 and uh, if e1 edge is start from the y uh, y vertex and it goes to the x vertex so we assigned y uh, as a 1 y as a 1 and uh, x as a minus 1 similarly uh, for e2 edge uh, we assign z as a 1 z as a 1 y is a minus 1 and similarly for uh, e3 edge so x uh, sorry z is 1 and x is minus 1 so for uh, okay so this is our uh, this is our incidence matrix this is our incidence matrix for directed graph if our graph is directed then it is fine if it is not directed then we assign arbitrary direction and uh, assign assign the direction and but when we assign it then it is fixed uh, one good property of this matrix is that row sum is zero okay so as you can see that here row sum is zero sec uh, second in second column row sum is zero and third column also uh, sum is zero so by this property we can uh, we we can say that uh, rank of this matrix is less than two number of vertices and minus one right okay uh, we will use this uh, property uh, in next few minutes let us start our proof suppose that suppose that x is a, x is a vector in left null space of the q of g okay and uh, here x here x is column vector fine So, uh, uh, so now x is a vector in the left null space of the q of g so x uh, transpose q is equal to 0 
because uh, this is a this is in null space right so if we see in general then we can see uh, see something like that like x1 x2 x3 something like xn multiply with q matrix and let us consider that our vertices index is something like that 1 2 3 4 and so on so if uh, if there is a uh, one edge even it is start uh, from 3 and end into 1 so direction is like that so what is a third entry uh, a third entry of even column so third entry of even column is 1 and first entry of the um, even column is minus 1 so and uh, this uh, vector x is uh, in null space of q right so it result into a zero vector okay so now if we multiply this vector with column 1 then we get what we get zero so let us write that so so it is like x1 plus x3 is equal to 0 so we can write is it as x3 minus x1 is equal to 0 so uh, whenever we have a edge whenever we have a edge in between uh, two vertices at that time the entry entry uh, entry of uh, uh, entry of the uh, vector x is x1 is equal to x3 both are same right uh, from here we can uh, conclude one more thing like uh, whenever we have a graph something like that and one two three four five at the time if we choose any two vertex like one is this and one is this at the time uh, we uh, if our graph is connected graph then we always have a path okay like path from one to five so one path is like this okay so uh, if we uh, see here if we see here then uh, whenever if we see here whenever we have a path like a path from 1 to 5 at that time uh, uh, what we can conclude that x1 and x5 both are same x1 and x5 both are same why it is so because uh, when we have a edge like it is e1 it is e2 and it is e3 so x1 and x2 both are same because of the above result right and because of e2 x2 and x4 these two are same right and as x because of e3 like x4 and x5 all are same so x1 is equal to x2 is equal to x4 is equal to x5 so we can say that if there exists a path if there exists a path from any two vertex like uh, i to j then xi is equal to xj right so uh, in in a statement uh, in a lemma it is given that our graph is a connected graph our graph is connected graph so connect, uh, one pro one property of connected graph is that uh, from uh, for any two vertex we can always find uh, a path in between that so we have a path from all i to all j in our connected graph right in our connected graph 
सो फ्रॉम दैट वी कैन से दैट एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू एक्स थ्री सो ऑन इज इक्वल टू एक्स एन सो एंट्रीज एंट्रीज ऑफ ओवर दिस मैट्रिक्स इज ऑल आर सेम राइट ऑल आर सेम डायमेंशन ऑफ लेफ्ट नल स्पेस इज एट मोस्ट एट मोस्ट वन सो फ्रॉम वी कैन से दैट डायमेंशन ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन से दैट रैंक ऑफ क्यू इज इक्वल टू ओके सो फ्रॉम दी फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन से दैट रैंक ऑफ क्यू इज एट लीस्ट एन माइनस वन एट लीस्ट एन माइनस वन एंड इन प्रीवियसली वी ऑब्जर्व दैट लाइक वेन वर आई वेन आई डिफाइन द इंसिडेंस मैट्रिक्स क्यू एट द टाइम आई से दैट रैंक is less than or equal to n minus 1 and here i have shown that rank is always greater than or equal to n minus 1 so from uh, this two statement we can say that rank of q is equal to n minus 1 so hence it is proved thank you